What's up everybody, it's Kelsey Rihanna J and I am going to be reviewing the new Josie Moran Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid. So I picked this up with the sole recommendation from Mel. She said that this was amazing so of course I wanted to go out and try it and this foundation is really getting a lot of hype here on YouTube so of course I wanted to check it out and give you guys my opinion on this product. So I picked this up from Sephora the other day. This does retail for $45 and you do get one fluid ounce of products which is standard in today's foundation market. So this is the packaging. It's very reminiscent. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Max Lightful line, but it looks like that almost like that rainbow iridescent packaging, which I think is really pretty. And then it has her name on there. Josie Moran was a model. I remember her from my childhood because she used to model for Maybelline and I used to love Maybelline stuff. And I always wanted Maybelline stuff, so I always remember her. But it's really cool that now she has her own brand and it's in Sephora. Her makeup and skincare is located in the skincare aisle. It's not separated, so I thought that was something super cool. I think that her products focus more on the skincare aspect and then she slowly added in things like foundation and eyeshadow and all that good stuff. But she started out just really focusing on the argan oil and she's just really committed to that. So of course mostly all of her products are based on argan oil. This one being no exception. So this is fragrance free, dermatologist tested, clinically tested, and allergy tested. So that's really something that's really awesome for people who have sensitive skin and aren't able to just wear whatever kind of foundation. I did smell it. Y'all know I am the smell police. I did not detect the smell. A lot of times when foundations say that it's fragrance free, it still has this weird chemical smell. It does not have that. It literally does not smell like anything. This has a lot of different checkpoints here. So it's organic ingredients, organic argan oil, paraben free, natural ingredients, gluten free, recyclable, cruelty free, and no synthetic fragrance. So that is a lot of checkpoints for you guys because I know that those are some concerns for a lot of us here who are just really committed to doing better for ourselves and the environment. So this foundation has claims to improve certain aspects of your skin. So after four weeks, 100% of subjects experienced a significant significant increase of skin moisture by 106 percent. 98 percent of subjects experienced a significant increase of skin smoothness and softness by 111 percent. In a consumer study 93 percent agree vibrancy helps visibly calm their skin condition specifically scarring inflammation and rosacea. So she has a lot of instructions on here. So it's a lot of reading. I'm not going to bore you guys and read the entire paragraph because you can do that on your own. But let me just summarize it for you. So basically, even though this foundation is supposed to give a medium to full coverage, it's still supposed to feel lightweight. I mean, now that I have it on my skin, now I don't feel it. But initially applying it, it did feel a bit heavy. But once you blend it out, I don't feel like that way at all. It is very comfortable. And I will say that my skin does feel moisturized. For it to be the summertime, right now my skin is like very dry because I'm trying out new skincare things. And my skin is just not feeling as hydrated and moisturized as it normally does. This foundation did add more moisture into my skin and I feel like my skin looks super super smooth and nice and buttery so I think that I will like this foundation right now the color that I have is a little bit too dark so I had to go back in and highlight different areas just to make it even so it's not just like dark face but I do feel like it is super smooth if I do end up liking this foundation I probably won't end up having to buy the next lighter shade and then mix in a few drops of that in this foundation because this foundation is wearable but it is just this much too dark so if I had a lighter shade to kind of combat that I would would have mixed some of my Giorgio Armani luminous silk with it but I didn't want to temper with this since I'm doing a review today so here is the actual foundation it has a lot of like swirls and like very colorful I don't know what this represents but it just looks like a rainbow of swirls to me so it just says the vibrancy foundation and foundation fluid here it does come with the pump I know that that really is a making a break it point for a lot of people so it does come with the pump for those of you all who are like if the foundation doesn't have a pump then you are not wanting to buy it so I think that once you start paying like upwards of $30 for foundations I personally feel like it should have a method for you to be able to get it out you shouldn't have to shake it and pour it but that's just my personal opinion this foundation does have a decent range of colors so there are a few more colors after mine which is always something that I'm always on the lookout for because if a foundation stops at my color I just feel like that they are cheating the consumers because you know Everybody wears makeup nowadays. Foundation is powered by 100% argan oil. So I'm interested how this will wear with me because I have combination skin. So my skin does get very, very oily here in my 
forehead area and then a little bit on my nose not really my, not really my t-zone more so just my forehead so i'm interested to see how this foundation will hold up and i also i'm going to be doing a lot of high energy activity outside today and it is super hot outside today so we'll see how this foundation wears i am going to take that into consideration when i do my final check-in and let you know how i think this foundation wore throughout the day so stay tuned for my application of the foundation i am going to do a demo for you guys to see like how it applies coming right after this and then after that I'm going to do a few check-ins and then at the end of the day I am going to sit back down and let you know my final thoughts on the foundation so far I like it it feels really nice it's really smooth I asked my boyfriend what he thought he said that my skin looks smooth but the color's too dark you know so I agree with that but other than that I feel like the foundation is a good foundation so stay tuned and I'll talk to y'all later I'm going to apply some skin refined zone on my skin I'm going to pump out two squirts of foundation to start and apply it with my Beauty Blender. So this is one coat of the foundation with the two pumps. I cover my entire face. So even though my color is a little bit too dark, with two pumps I was able to get full coverage over my entire face. I do feel the foundation slightly on my face, but it's fine. It's not too bad. It's just you feel the oils because it is a richer foundation. So it's not like it's weightless. I do feel it on my face, but it does feel nice and it gave me a really flawless finish. With two pumps I was able to do my entire face. I don't see any of my imperfections underneath the foundation it's not thick though so I think that's an added benefit of it and it does feel very nice so I don't feel like I need to go in with any more pumps of the foundation which is actually surprising because I thought that this foundation would be a little bit more lightweight than it is but it's not a bad thing that this foundation is a little bit richer because it's going to last you a really long time. Because if all you need is like one and a half to two pumps to do your face, this foundation is going to last you for forever. Because this foundation is too dark for me, I am going to go back in and highlight in certain areas. For me, I probably would have to mix this shade and the lighter shade to get my perfect shade. Because even with the tan, it still is just this much too dark. They did have a nice color range though. So I think that if you're interested in this foundation, foundation then they will have a, a shade for you I didn't just like that in between shade so I'm going to go in and do the rest of my face on camera I will list everything that I'm using down below and you can just watch me sped up Okay, so this is my completed face. I am going to be checking in throughout the day so you guys can keep up with me vlog style. Currently it is 119, so I'll check in sporadically throughout the day. So I'm not gonna be doing anything that interesting, but you guys can get a little glimpse into what I will be doing for the day. So stay tuned. All right, so this is my first check-in. I am at the gas station I was like where am I at and I'm next to this big old monster truck it is like 90 degrees outside but this is probably not the best foundation to wear on a sunny day like this on a really hot day because it's so greasy but the good thing is is that it's not separating it's just like a dewy glowy oily look not a separatey nasty I need to go wash my face kind of look so that's good it's been about two hours since the initial application it has not broken up though it still is giving me a really pretty finish you know ideally this would not be a foundation that I would wear 
on a day like this but since i did want to test it today i will put it up against all of the tasks that i have planned for the day it is still giving me really pretty coverage all right so my lighting might be out of whack but i just wanted to come on and say basically good night this is my final check-in so let me tell you all what all i basically have done today in this foundation and it's still in mind you i still got a compliment on the foundation like this girl was like i really love your makeup i'm like really so today is the hottest day of the entire year it was 95 degrees outside and it felt like it like it, it's not like a 95 degrees with the breeze it's 95 degrees and it's hot and i'm sure some people had a heat stroke so in this weather um i was outside for a few hours moving boxes um standing around in the heat like it just was like overwhelmingly hot and i chose today of all days to do a foundation re review like I don't know why I chose today to do that, but I will go ahead and tell you that even with all of that, and you know it's a long day, it's a long day when I have on my glasses, like at the end of the day if I have on my glasses, it's been a long day. So after all of that, this foundation still looks good. Like. The foundation looks natural. It looks very nice and glowy. I asked several different men, like, what do they think? You know, they never know anything about makeup. They're like, um, it looks good. Looks all right. So I asked my boyfriend what he thought. And tell, tell him what you thought. I haven't answered no questions about makeup. No, I'm not asking you questions. I'm just asking <coughs> what I look like. I said it was kind of dark. <laughs> it's kind of dark. Yeah. And what else? After I even did that with the uh, concealer, what did you think, though? It looks like your natural skin tone. You gotta talk so the camera can hear you. Because you're not gonna put this on here. No, you're not. You're not. Enough. I wanna put it on there. No. <laughs> Fine. Everybody wants to see you. Why are you. Everybody wants to meet you. No, they don't. Shut up. Y'all stuff. Everybody like who? My subscribers. Okay. But anyway, so it still looks glowy even with, I mean, it's disgusting, but sweat. Like, basically, this foundation wears better throughout the day than it does when you first apply it. And that's really hard to find with the foundation. I experienced no breaking up of the foundation. Truthfully, my concealer broke up more than my foundation did. Actually, my concealer, like, started to, like, fade a little bit and then the foundation was still there. Overall, I really like the foundation. However, if you don't like a dewier, glowier foundation, I'm pretty sure you're going to be like, you don't like it. If you're a person who's a fan of glowy foundations, then you probably are going to absolutely love it. The color range, like I said, is pretty good, but they don't have my perfect color. So if I continue to wear this foundation, I am going to have to mix it with something a little bit lighter because this foundation is about a shade or two darker. Like on camera, it does not look like that. It looks perfect, but in real life, like I look like a tan baby. Like I look like I am like super tan in the face. So that's that those are my opinions on the foundation let me know if you guys are interested in trying the foundation down below or if you have tried it sephora is super generous with samples so if you want to try it out maybe get a few shades try it out see if you like it wear it for a few days and let me know what you think even though it does have oil in it it also has all of those other aspects of it to where it makes it to where it's not aggravating to sensitive skin so that's an added bonus but i hope that this i hope that this i hope that this video was informative for anybody who was interested in this foundation like i said i picked it up <laughs> i'm like tongue tied i'm sleepy i have to go and go to sleep because i'm tired and it's been a long day but i <laughs> will talk to you guys in the next video make sure you thumbs up this video leave me a comment subscribe and Follow me on my social medias. And I'll talk to you guys later. Smooches. Bye. I can't even get my bio. out. I'm like, bye. 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 Baby, bye, 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 bye. Do you know what they say after the after bye, bye, bye? They be like, bye, bye. You can't want to make it over with you. I just want to take it in a hand and know. I'm not playing games.
I don't wanna play a game with you. I just wanna tell you that I had enough.